Hello everybody and welcome to a new Ross questions and answers video. Today I'm going to do a video which is not directly related to a, to a question that I found in a forum, but it's more something I want to explain in order to clarify some doubts. So yeah, today I have seen this question in the Ross answers forum which says why Rossedi does not find the package I create? So this man or woman, I don't know, uh, he has created a Gatkin workspace and he's creating packages inside his workspace and then he cannot find them with RustyD as you can see here. Yes? And then, yeah, basically this is uh, because he hasn't sourced his workspace. Uh, he, the, there are some answers here that that are uh, telling him what is his problem. But this question remind me of uh, a question that we are we receive, I receive quite a lot. Uh, related to our Robot Ignite Academy, the platform where we have all the courses. And there is a question that uh, it comes quite often, which is that people create a new ROS message and then they cannot access it, they cannot detect it, they cannot use it in code. So I think I'm better going to show it to, to, to clarify this. So for that, I'm going to create a very quick example here in uh, the ROS Development Studio in RDS. So I'm going to create here a new project, as always. I'm going to call it new message. Let's call it like this. So let's create this project and then we are going to launch it. There we are. Let's open our project. Let's wait uh, a few seconds until the environment loads. Here we have it, great. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open a couple of shells. Here we have one, and I'm going to open another one. There we are. And uh, then I'm going to open as well uh, the IDE, in order to visualize all my files. So yeah, let's put it here. Then I'm going to go to my cutting workspace, and I'm going to create a new package which I'm going to call new message. Let's put ROS bias dependency. So yeah, let's create this new package, which will appear here in the Catkin workspace in the source directory. Here we have it, new message. Then in this new package, I'm going to create a new message. So for that, I'm going to create a new folder, which is called message. And inside here, I'm going to place the message file, which I'm going to call it h.message. It's going to be a quite simple uh, uh, message. Uh, it's going to be three floats, basically. 32 years. Let's copy this. Oops, sorry. It's float. There we are. For 32 years. I'm going to put years, months, and days. There we are. Excellent, so now I have my message file, here h.message, so I'm going to modify the semi-glitz and the package XML files in order to compile this new message. So let's make this bigger for a moment, great. So first of all, here in the find package function of the semi-glitz file, I'm going to add standard messages and message generation. There we are, I need these two dependencies in order to create a in order to create this new message. Then the next thing it's going to be here to add my new message file. Let's comment this section here. And let's put here the name of our message file, which is h.message. So you can see here, there we are. Then the next is this generate messages function. We need to uncomment it also in order to generate the new message. There we are. And finally, we will have to modify the catkin package function, which is here, the catkin depends section. Let's uncomment this line here. And we will need to add the message runtime package here at the catkin dependencies. Great. So let's save this file. And then in, into the package XML, we will need to add as well the message generation as a build depend dependency. There we have it, message generation. And as a run depend, we'll need to add the message runtime. Here we have it. Excellent. 
So yeah, let's make these smaller and let's compile here our our new message. So I'm going to do a catkin make. And let's see if everything goes fine or if we have done any mistake. I've, I've gone quite quick, so maybe I have done something wrong. Let's see if this compiles or not. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to create here the, a new uh, Python script in order to test this new message. Let's say group h.py. There we have it. Okay, so here it's compiling. It has compiled properly. Excellent. Devil setup.bash. Let's source our workspace. And now, if I do a ROS message show of view of this new message, which is H, I should be able to visualize it properly. Excellent. So now what I'm going to do is to create a very simple Python script in order to, to test this message. I'm going to put it here. Let me copy it. I have it all already prepared. There we are. So this is the script. I need to modify here the name of the package because it's the, the, the package where this message is. It's new message in this case, not exercise, uh, whatever. So inside the new message package and the message folder, I have the H message. So great. And yeah, basically this creates a publisher which will publish into a topic H info. It will publish the this new message with uh, the values of five years, 10 months and 21 days. Yes. So let's test. Yeah, let's let's save everything and let's test this new Python script. So I can do here a ROS run of, well, let me check that my script has execution permissions. It doesn't, so I'm going to add them with the chmod plus x command. Which, okay, now it has. So now we can execute the ROS run command. So let's execute our Python script, which is pub h. There we are. Okay, there is no no raw score. So I'm going to start a simulation. For instance, let's start here the Chatterbot 2 simulation. There we are. This will automatically start a raw score. Although we are not going to use the simulation, but we need to have our raw score running because we are creating a node and publishers and everything. So we need to have our raw score running. There we are. So yeah, here I have my simulation with the raw score running. So now let's try to run again our Python script. There we are. Okay, so apparently it's working. Let's do one thing. Let's run it in the background like this. Okay, no, not for the moment. What I, yeah, what I'm going to do is to, okay, I leave here the, the command, this command here running. So apparently everything is working, okay, but what happens if I come now here to this other shell and I try to do the same. So I'm going to try to Ross run new message pubh.py. I'm going to try to do exactly the same I, I, I was doing here. So I'm going to execute this. And as you can see, I get an error here. No model name it new message dot message. So, okay, what's going on here? Why here I can execute it? This is an error when finishing. It's not uh, important, nothing to do. And yeah, so why here I can, as you can see, let me do it again. Why here I can execute this command and here in this shell I can't. As you can see here, I get an error. It cannot find this H message. Yeah? Well, this is very simple. It's because I haven't sourced the workspace. Yes, so here I have sourced the, the, this shell. So this shell is aware of this new message, let's say like this. Yeah, this shell where we have done the source, remember the source was this 
command source devil setup.bash. Yeah, this is the source command. And with this command, we are letting know this shell that this new message we have just created is there. Yeah. And here, since we haven't done this source, this shell doesn't know about this new message we have just created. So that's why we keep getting this error, that it cannot find this message. Now, if I do the source here, you'll see that I will be able to execute as well the ROS run command in this shell. There you have it, okay? So it's basically this, you need to, whenever you, you create a new message, you need to source any shell where you want to use that message, okay? For instance, now, if I do here our stupid info, we will see this new, uh, sorry, lost a big list to get the list of the messages. We should see this 18 for topic somewhere here, probably up here. Here, have it 18 for. So now I can subscribe to this new lost topic echo of this age info topic, and here I can see the years, months, days. Okay. So everything is working great. So what happens now if I open a new shell, for instance? Let's try it. With a new shell. Okay, what if I try to do now here the Rostopic echo, for instance, of the H info topic? I can find it. Why? So let's, for instance, let me stop this and let's try to run it directly here. Uh, sorry, it was boop h dot five. Okay, so why in this new shell it works? Okay, it's simple because these two shells were opened at the same moment. Yeah. So when I open it, this shell. The shell where I, I were getting this error of no model name it uh, new message dot message. When I opened this shell, the message was not created yet. That's why I need to do a source. Yes, I need to do a source to let this shell know that I have created this new message. This shell, when I have opened this shell, the message was already created. And whenever I open a new shell, in this case, you will see, if, if you have a look at the basher C file, you will see that whenever we open a new shell, we are automatically doing a source. Yes, so here you can see that we are doing uh, the sources, yes, of the of ROS and of the workspace. So this is why when I open this shell, this new shell, when I open a new shell now, a source is automatically done. So it can find the new message and whatever I have done in the in the in my workspace yes but if the shell was launched before something before creating the message in this case I need to do the source so that this shell knows that this new message exists okay so yeah basically this is what I wanted to explain to make to make it clear to clarify some doubts because this is something that I usually did get asked so yeah that was all i hope you have uh, liked the video uh, please uh, leave a like uh, if you if you have liked the video subscribe to our channel we keep publishing videos like this and videos about projects and we are doing live classes almost every day every day i would say so yeah if you like this subscribe to our, to our channel and keep tuned because there's new content every day so yeah, that's all. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.